Good evening and welcome to TL Physics. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to talk about total internal reflection. In previous videos I spoke about Snell's law and how that relates to refraction. Now just to recap, the equation for Snell's law is this, that n1, my refractive index I'm going from, times sine i, and i is the angle of incidence, this angle here. So the angle, here's the surface, this is the normal line that you must draw, and that's at right angles to the surface. It's the angle from the light ray to this normal angle, and that's i. N2 is the refractive index of the material I'm going to, and R is the angle from the normal to the light ray. Now, total internal reflection is a very, very special case, and this is it here. When my angle of refraction is so large that it's actually at 90 degrees, and at this point here, it's actually not leaving the material at all. It's almost like it's stuck inside. And this is the kind of relationship we're talking about here. So the n1 sine i equals n2 sine 90. And this is, this is the special point. This is the teetering point. Anything bigger than 90 degrees, and it's back in the material. So we're finding this threshold, this critical angle. And so those among you, sine 90, of course, is 1. n1 sine i equals n2. Sine i equals n2 over n1. And this i is known as the critical angle. You sometimes see it written as theta c. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of here. That for this to actually work, this fraction here has to be less than 1. If it's not, if any of you put in calculator sine to the minus 1 of anything bigger than 1, you'll get a math error. So that implies that n1 must be much bigger or bigger than n2. And this is actually on the data sheet for the AQA syllabus. What this does mean is that at any angle is bigger than my critical angle. So in this diagram here, my critical angle is 30. What it's saying here is that the light will not leave the surface. In fact, it's going to be swung around so much that it's going to go back in. So here, my critical angle is 30. 70 is much bigger than 30. So as you can see, I go in and I get um, reflection back. And this is why it's called total internal reflection. It's because the light never leaves the material because you've hit it at the critical angle. The smaller the critical angle is, the more chance you have of light actually staying in the circuit itself. The circuit, the fiber optic, or the cable, or whatever. Now there's some practical uses for this. One of them is all about diamonds. So here's the diamond right here. And uh, so the traditional shape of a diamond. And light is coming in at 50.2 degrees, and I have a an refraction angle. First of all, I'm going to find out what that R is. So I'm going to find R. I'm going to use Snell's law for this. So N1 sine 50.2 equals N2 sine R. N1 is air, so I have to know that is 1. So I have sine 50.2 equals 2.42 sine r. So sine 50.2 divided by 2.42. So sine 50.2 divided by 2.42. I get 0.32 is sine r. And r equals sine to the minus 1 of 0.32 which is 18.5 degrees. So this angle R is 18.5 degrees. This light is coming down and it's going to hit this surface here. And if I draw a normal line like this, and I married it up with this normal line, I get a nice right angle. So this angle here is going to be 90 minus 18.5, which is 71.5 degrees. Now, if my critical angle for this diamond is um, 
smaller than that, I will reflect. So let's find out. Sine theta c is n2 over n1. So that is 1 divided by 2.42. Because remember, we're going from air, we're going from air, from diamond to air. So that's 1 divided by 2.42, which is 0 0.41. So theta c is 24.4 degrees. That angle of incidence, that angle here is much bigger than that, so we are going to be reflecting. Okay, now you could continue this trace, and of course it depends where it hits here, what that angle is. If this is bigger than the critical angle, it would reflect up. If this was smaller than the critical angle, so if I just draw them on for you, so if it was bigger, it's going to be in red, okay, it would come up here, yeah, okay, if it was smaller, so I'll do this in green. Okay, it would leave. Okay. So it would leave. Like that. And this all comes down to calculation. You can work out the distances, the lengths, etc. Okay. This is why diamonds sparkle so much, because the way they are cut means that the light doo -doo -doo, will come back to your eye. So that's why it looks like it's sparkling, because the light's coming from behind you to the front and coming back into your eye. Another use for uh, refractive index or total internal reflection, of course, is fibre optics. So a fibre optic cable is a long cable that uses total internal reflection to send a signal from A to B. And that will be on the next video.